I'm an absolute sucker for anything yogurt flavored. Oh. Mm, what's the best before? It's best before next month. Makes me a, makes me a little nervous. <laughs> No more, it's joining and oh, welcome to Japan. Here we are live in Japan. Look at me. I'm in Shibuya. I'm in Akihabara. I'm in Osaka. <laughs> I'm making a lot of work for my editor. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, this year I was supposed to go for a nice little visit to Japan as I like to do. Unfortunately, no one can do that other than the, the Japanese themselves. <laughs> COVID stole holidays away from all of us and sure, uh, yeah, I was expecting that any moment. Look, at least this way, my cats get to come to Japan. We're in Japan, buddy. You're in Nickel. Now, because you guys missed out on all the wicked Japan videos that I was gonna make while I was there, I figured, you, nah. Stuff you, COVID, I'm doing my Japan videos anyway. So here I am, I'm in Japan. I have a massive assortment of snacks in front of me and I am going to be trying all of these snacks. But not just that, I am going to be tier listing them. I'm gonna be ranking them on my very scientific scale of all the way from uh, poison to victory royale. We have poison, gross, meh, average, good, amazing. And then only one, only one snack at the very end will get the coveted. Victory Royale. I don't know what they are yet. I haven't tried most of these. I've tried a couple. The vast majority of these are brand new. Never tried them before. There's so much going on on the desk right now, Epi. You can come and sit on the bed, the special bed that I made for you. Okay, so earlier this morning, I went out and spent over $50 on Japanese snacks. <laughs> the sheer amount of calories and sugar in front of me is insane. But let's get into this. Let's start with a with a Japanese classic. This is going to be very green. Pretz. Now, for you guys, it's see-through. <laughs> you can kind of tell this is salad flavor. These are like long salad flavored pretzels. Because when, I, when I'm eating my pretzels, I'm thinking, you know what would make these better? If they tasted like salad. Oh, look at this. It's got like a special opener. Oh, you can like prop them up. Oh, this is cool. And then you, then what, how does this work? The most Japanese thing ever is weird ways to open things. I don't understand. Oh, there's two packets. There's two of these. Almost everything in Japan like has a weird way to open it. Yeah, you would think, okay, this, this is like your classic, like you just tear down, down, the, down the middle. No, you absolute savage. You're not thinking, like a Japanese. The Japanese, of course, they've got their instructions, but they're see-through, so you can't see them. Look at this, are you ready for this? This is the way the Japanese want you to open this packet. Look at that! Look at that! This is genius! <laughs> you just pull it to the side and it comes off, and here you have it. Oh, I'll try and put them in the packet the special way that they want me to. I don't understand this at all. This doesn't make any sense. Am I supposed to like jam them back in? I think this is how they want me to do it. Now it's like a box of tissues. <laughs> but instead of tissues, you have salad flavored pretzels. This is reality. This is a reality in, in Japan. This is how people live. That one's broken. Here we go. All right, let's get into the first snack taste test. It just smells like, it smells like shapes. The classic Australian Arnott's shapes. Ah! There's gonna be so much junk around me by the time I'm done. I won't know where to put all of this. It's good. Shapes, no, sh okay, shapes are, shapes are an Australian savory snack and they're great. They kind of taste like shapes. This is bizarre because these are supposed to taste like salad, but they taste exactly like chicken crimpy shapes. These chicken crimpy shapes. Thank you, editor. <laughs> these are good. I'm a, I'm a fan of these. I'm honestly gonna give these a, uh, I'm gonna put them a good, I'm not gonna get too carried away. Hey, listen, I'm open to changing these up a little bit down the line. If I try these other stuff and all of a sudden this was actually the best, uh, then I could up it to amazing because I, I actually genuinely think these are good because chicken crimpies are great. Joinin' but indecisive? You mean joinin'. 
That's just joining. All right, the text, the chat is uh, the chat is black when we go to this mode. I know how to fix that. All right, Ebby, I know how much you love junk food and it is not good for you. He's like literally climbing all over me trying to get those prets. I hate to do this, Ebby, but it's for your own safety. You can go sit out with Motto, all right? I'll give you a snack afterwards. I feel like I need something in between good and amazing because I need a really good section. All right, those ones are really good. I think really good is fair enough. Amazing's too nice because they're just crackers, right? But they're better than good. So I think really good is fair. I got the classic milky chocolate. These are like a classic thing in Japan. You can probably get them all around the world, maybe. I might have tried them, I just don't remember. So I I'm pretty sure they've got some like white filling in there or something like that, whatever that is made of. It does tell you what that is, but I can't tell you. Look at this, it opens like an envelope. <laughs> it's like a business document. Is there any cool way to open this? Or do I just like savagely tear it apart? Oh my goodness. The packaging on these products is, it comes with a little tray. <laughs> They smell amazing. This is the cutest thing ever. Oh, and each one has like different prints on it. So you got like a, you got like a candy, a girl, a boy and a, and a dog. These actually smell really good. I'll go for the one with the girl on it. Cause that's the one that's on the front packet. I don't like chewing so close to the mic. <laughs> I like these. It's exactly what you expect. They're actually really tasty. Even by tasting it, I can't tell you what the flavor is. It's just a really good flavor. I was about to say, I think they're supposed to be milk flavor, but what is milk flavor? When it comes to candy, what even is milk flavor? <laughs> I guess that they're supposed to be like a milky thing inside. They're actually really tasty. They're quite sweet. That's to be expected with uh, Japanese candy, but I, I do rate those. In fact, I have to rate those. I made a job out of this and that's what I'm gonna do. Now, these are either good or really good. I do think they're really good, but are they just good? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just don't want to get too carried away and put everything on really good. So I'm gonna put them just on good. Next up, we have takoyaki chips. I am so excited for these. Okay, if you don't know what takoyaki is, it's the best. That's what it is. They're like these little like fried balls with little octopusy tentacly things in them. Amazing, the best. When you go to Tokyo, you gotta to go around to the different like the different areas. One of the ones you have to go to is Harajuku because like you just you just gotta to go to Harajuku. You go to Takshita, tak, 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 I'm trying to say it the, the fancy way that doesn't make it sound like a like a bad word. Takshita Street. <laughs> and you, around that area, there's okay food, but I always found myself just getting takoyaki from Gindako there. You get the Gindako takoyaki and you go down to the, the park and you sit there and you eat your takoyaki, the best. Anyway, they turned takoyaki into chips. Takoyaki chips. I'm so keen, because if these taste anything, I love takoyaki. If these taste anything like takoyaki, I am so down. It says on the thing to like actually put takoyaki sauce on them, but I I'm not gonna do that. Oh, oh, they smell so good. <laughs> They smell amazing. This is what they look like. They're good, all right? They're good. I would say, they taste more like the takoyaki sauce rather than takoyaki itself, which is not a bad thing. I was expecting takoyaki. I got takoyaki sauce. They're good. They're really good. <laughs> no, everything is really good. Let's see. They're better than average. I, I think they're actually really good chips. There's a bit of like sweetness because that's what the sauce has. Like the sauce is a little bit sweet. They have to go really good. They can't just be labeled good. I know that I wasn't pulling like an amazing face, but that's because I was trying to get to the bottom the bottom of what they actually taste like. I'm a fan. Actually, one of the better chips, the Japanese chips that I've tried. Let's get crunky. <laughs> yes, we're getting crunky friends. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's hojicha. I'm so confused because this looks like a cup of coffee. This looks like cinnamon or something. It says crunch chocolate and then it says hojicha. 
I don't know what flavor it is. Oh, it's like hojicha and chocolate because there, there's a little sticker here with English ingredients, cocoa butter, but then there's also a hojicha powder. Uh, hojicha is like a, um, it's uh, roasted in porcelain pot over charcoal. So it, it's roasted, it's roasted green tea. So we've got some roasted green tea and chocolate. Crunky, crunky, tr cr 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 crunky, crunch, jeez. Tr Crunky Crunch Chocolate. That is not easy to say. Okay. Oh, it comes in like aluminum. Got that. Get some Jordan ASMR for you. Oh, they look so cute. They're like these tiny little pieces. Look at that. They're tiny. <laughs> oh, that, that smells so weird. You can see on the back that you can see all like the bubbly bits. It looks like caramel. It's not. It's roasted green tea and chocolate. And it smells, you can definitely smell the roasted flavor. That's for sure. All right, so that one's going somewhere low on the list. <laughs> that was not great. It was not really good. It wasn't good it, at the very least. It is below average. Do you think meh and average are too similar? Because if you eat something and you're like, yeah, it was average, or you're like, meh, it's the same thing. I feel like I need a different word for meh. I'm gonna say not good. I'm gonna put crunky on not good. It's not the texture. The, te the texture is great. The flavor is off-putting to me. It's maybe partly because of the roasted green tea flavor, but maybe more so because I just hate white chocolate. And I think it's like a white, white chocolate base that they add the flavors into, which is bizarre because it's supposed to be chocolate flavor. It's supposed to have cocoa butter in it. It tasted like burnt white chocolate <laughs> with like a weird tea kind of flavor in there. So I think that's definitely a not good for me. It is not a repurchase. I don't even think it's a retry. I don't think I will eat any more from the block. But white chocolate to me is like one of those things that I don't like it, but I can kind of just like sit there and screw my face up and keep eating it. <laughs> I need a drink to wash this all down. Good thing I have a Bickle. Wow! <laughs> Which you have to admit is the funniest name for a drink you could come up with. Bickle. As I understand it, just from the, I actually have no idea what flavor this is, but just from the, um, just from the aesthetic alone, I'm expecting this to be a massive Yakult and I will not be disappointed if it is. Looks like you're in a Bickle now. I'm in a bit of a Bickle with just all these snacks that I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with. It has 290 milligrams of something, which is good to know. <laughs> I think it'll be yogurty. I think it's gonna be Yakulti. Oh yeah, baby, that's Yakulti. It kind of smells like Yakult mixed with sunscreen. Someone said apple juice, and weirdly enough, it kind of tastes like Yakult and apple juice mixed together, even though it has no such thing in it. The first ingredient is sugar. There's 35 grams in this thing. Oh no. And then there's just a whole bunch of like milks and milk powders and all that kind of stuff. I think it's supposed to be a yogurty drink, which it is. But for some reason, I'm getting a bit of an apple flavor from it. I think it's good. The sugar is insane. So it's not good for you. I think I'm gonna put Bickle at good. If they could manage to get less sugar in that so I just didn't feel so bad drinking it, then I could probably up it to a really good because I do think the flavor is good. You're going to be up all day. I'm going to be pinging. I'm going to be pinging hard. It's going to be like, I'm going to have an adult sugar rush. Like adults get sugar rushes because adults just eat less sugar. Like adults don't eat like candy. I mean, maybe some do, but I don't. I don't eat much sugar in my diet. So I'm going to be like pinging so hard after this. Okay, this here, this is gonna be hard to show in the green. You know how you can get wasabi peas? Like this isn't some cop out. I didn't just go and get wasabi peas. Kasugai peas and you, <laughs> whatever that's supposed to mean. And then there's this thing. It's that flavor. It's not wasabi flavor. It's this fruit on the back. It, uh, it says Kasugai green peas, lemon and red pepper. That sounds pretty good to me. It smells like every like chip packet ever like if I smelt that, I wouldn't even necessarily be able to tell you whether it was the takoyaki chips or not. They're good. I'm gonna put them above good, but it's just question marks. One of the strangest things I've ever eaten. They're so lemony and then they're spicy. Lemon and spice, they're 
good? <laughs> But like, I don't know what to make of them. Oh, you can actually see, I didn't I didn't notice that before. There actually are chilies there. So there's the citrus and there's the chili. And that is exactly how you would sum them up. Citrus and chili. It sounds good, but the lemon is like lemon powder. Lemon powder is like a weird thing to wrap your head around. I think they're good. They're just bizarre. All right, okay. I think they're the kind of thing that by the time you get to the bottom of the packet, you're like, get me another packet. And then you just use them and they're the best things. So I'm gonna leave them above good, but I'm I'm leaving them with question marks because it's, uh, I don't yet know them well enough. You wash it down with a sip of Biggle. There is a bit of an off smell to it. Like it's mostly fine, but then there's like a, just like a hint of a wet sock smell. Mm. It kind of gives you the vibe that it's gone off, but maybe there's just so much sugar in it that you can't taste it. An absolute classic. You can't, you cannot do a Japanese snack video without talking about Kit Kat. It's like their shtick. They got all these weird Kit Kat flavors. This one is sweet potato. I love sweet potato. I love Japanese sweet potato. I love sweet potato flavored things. I just am scared that I'm not gonna like this one because you can see here, that looks like white chocolate. And you know how expensive these are? This packet, which looks huge, but look, I can go like this. That's how big it actually is. And it's full of like, it's a few of these. <laughs> this was $8, which is almost cheap because the weird flavored Kit Kats are so bizarrely expensive. I am a fan of regular Kit Kat. That's pretty cute though. Like the little packet, the flavors are often like, I feel like they're a white chocolate base and then they mix flavors into the white chocolate. And that's very much looks like white chocolate. And I have a tough time getting past white chocolate if I haven't said that in this video yet. Oh my gosh, it smells like actual potatoes. It smells like straight up sweet potato. Like if you put this in front of me and I just smelt it, I would think there was an actual sweet potato in front of me. It doesn't smell like chocolate at all. It's It actually just smells like sweet potato. That's good. When I say good, I mean like I was expecting to not like it and I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm still, I'm still probably gonna put it at average. Okay, here's the thing. Milky's better than this. I would much rather go for a, for another piece of Milky than another Kit Kat, but they're fun. Like the sweet potato thing is fun because it actually tastes like sweet potato. It's got the texture of a Kit Kat, but it tastes like sweet potato, which is cool. But in terms of just it being a snack, this is average. How did wet socks beat chocolate? Because I'm an absolute sucker for anything yogurt flavored. Oh. What's the best before? It's best before next month. Makes me makes me a little nervous. <laughs> that it's, you know, it's been imported. Who knows the kind of conditions it was imported in. And it smells like wet socks. Every time I smell it, I smell less yogurt and more bad. More off. Sweaty socks. The taste is fine. That sounds appetizing. <laughs> I've got this which isn't savory, but it's probably more savory than anything else here. Waffles. The most Japanese thing getting around. Not only that, European waffles. So this is a, a Japanese brand, obviously. The text is not Japanese, but it's a Japanese brand, okay? It's all in Korean. Wait, am I wrong? Is lot, Lotte, I, I don't know how to say it, Lotte. Lotte, it's Korean. I always thought the brand was Japanese. Have I done wrong? It's Korean. Wait, by Korean businessman, Shit in Tokyo. Oh, no, wait. Okay, it was founded in Tokyo. Japanese snacks, that counts. Um, Regardless of whether it's a Japanese or a Korean brand, this brand is super popular in, in Japan and it's everywhere. So it's Japanese. I think it's technically Korean. It says South Korean multinational conglomerate. It was just founded in, in Japan. So I think I think that counts. What? Why, how do they want me to open this? It's got a... It has to be Japanese. It's got a weird way to open it. Okay. <laughs> Ta-da! It opens like this. And then you get your waffles. They smell really good. Okay, so you get like three of these in a packet and I'm kind of just expecting waffle cone. Like, is it not just gonna taste like cone? They're, they're a little bit more... They're more sturdy than a, than than their average waffle cone. But if you go to like a premium ice cream place, you can get some pretty sturdy waffle cones. These taste almost exactly like a butterscotch finger, the biscuits. They taste exactly like these. In terms of flavor, 
they are identical to these. So if you've had these, now you know. Uh, they're maybe like a little bit more crunchy. Obviously they're thinner, but I think that would put it at average. They're like an average staple. If you put one or two of those in a in a scoop of like vanilla ice cream, that'd be really nice. But like, what's new? Waffle cone and ice cream. Who knew that would go together? <laughs> They're good. There's nothing wrong with them. I mean, I say they're good, but then I put them down to average because I would never buy them. They're like the kind of thing that like you'd have in the pantry at home that your mum bought, but you would never buy. Your mum calls them old lady fingers. Oh, old lady biscuits. I was gonna say, they do kind of look like old lady's fingers. They're like all wrinkly on top. We're going back to Milky Town. Here we have Milky Caramel Corn. I don't know what to make of that. I thought at first that that would be caramel coated popcorn, but then I looked at this photo of like what they actually are. What is that? What is a caramel corn? They look like shrimps. That is bizarre. So indeed, it looks like a packet of shrimps. <laughs> They're like puffs and they smell like butter, but like sweet butter. They smell like butter and sugar. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They're so light and fluffy. They taste so much like butter, but they're sweet like caramel. And they just like disappear in your mouth and they're so sugary, but in like a cereal kind of way, in like a Fruit Loops kind of thing. They're like Fruit Loops. If Fruit Loops were milky caramel flavored, these are really good. These are at least amazing. These are amazing. It's like the perfect, <laughs> the sugar is kicked in. <laughs> There's almost like a slight saltiness from like the butter flavor, but they're like really sugary. Like it's a sweet snack in a crunchy snack form, if you get what I'm saying. Like they look like chips. They have the texture of like really light fluffy chips but they're really sweet. These are probably the most unhealthy things for you. Oh my goodness. How is there so little sugar in them? It doesn't make any sense. How is there only 2.57 grams of sugar per 100 grams? I feel like I'm eating straight sugar. And I tell you what, there's a lot of fat in it. A lot of fat, a lot of carbs, but weirdly enough, like no sugar? It doesn't make any sense. The second ingredient is sugar. How can it only be? That's just false. The ingredients are false. Like you can taste how bad those are for you but they taste so good that you don't even care. You also get a decent amount in the packet. I don't know how much that was. Actually, I'm gonna check. Three dollars <laughs> twenty. Three twenty is pretty good. Three twenty is definitely, definitely worth. Noir black cocoa. And you can't tell, but they're green because I suppose they're matcha flavor. I'm pretty sure these are just tiny Oreos with matcha filling. That's kind of what I'm expecting. And that can't be bad, right? Whoa, that smells like really strong matcha. It smells like I'm smelling straight up matcha. I picked the wrong color because you guys can't see green, but they are green. They're so little. The live stream can see green because they're only seeing green, but the video won't be able to see any green. There we go. Oh, that is so cute. There is nothing wrong with that. There's a very strong matcha flavor. You have to be a fan of matcha because the matcha in there isn't even sweet. The cookie is like basic cookie sweetness, I guess, but the matcha itself isn't sweet. So you have to be a fan of like actual matcha, but I am. So I would give that uh, a, a good. Yeah, I'm not going around saying like, oh, they're really good. I think they're, I think they're good. Bickle, I have to drop to an average just because of the smell and Oh, it's a smell with a question mark because I don't know if that's what Bickle is supposed to smell like or if that's just my Bickle. <laughs> but that smell, I just can't get past it. Other yogurt stuff doesn't smell like that. It's not because it smells like yogurt. It smells like yogurt and then past that. Bit of a funky smell going on. Four more snacks to go. Next up, we're talking lychee gummy candy. This can't be bad. There is no world where a lychee gummy candy is bad. It just simply can't be. Oh yeah. They're individually wrapped, every single one of them, which is good because I'm opening a lot of snacks. There we go. Lychee gummy candy. It's squishy. Oh, they're like see-through. Uh, it smells good. I mean, it just smells like a gummy lolly. I guess good on them for individually wrapping them. I guess it's kind of like a waste of plastic or whatever, but it's also, it stops you from eating heaps of them. Oh. Whoa. That is bizarre. 
It tastes a little bit like lychee, not heaps. What's weirder is the texture. When I think gummies, I, I'm expecting like a, you know, like when you eat like a, a snake, you kind of like pull them. This one, it's like, it's closer to jelly, like wibbly wobbly jelly, which is nice. You don't have to chew so much. Is it soft? Yeah, it's like, it's like soft, not so chewy, but they taste fine. They're kind of like, I would say they're average. They don't smell like wet socks though. I think that makes Bickle not good. All right, three left. Uh, let's go to these things. I don't know what they are. I'm assuming they're like a strawberry chocolate biscuit. Alfort mini chocolate, premium. We do know they're premium. Oh, it also comes on a little tray. I love it when they come on a tray. Oh, is this made by the same people? Cause this is the exact same tray. All right, here they are sitting on a tray and it's kind of hilarious because they're sitting here and then there's like, just like a biscuit, just lounging. <laughs> it's just lying back. You just got a biscuit and a piece of chocolate and they've just jammed them together. It's like the biscuits at a day spa. I feel like I need to massage its little back. I don't think they're good. No, I think they are good, but they're just not to my taste. It tastes exactly what it looks like. It's strawberry with a chocolate biscuit on it. I feel like that sounds better than what they taste like. The strawberry is a very strong strawberry flavor, which I guess is cool. But in terms of what I'm into, I don't think I'm going for another one. I guess I put some below average, which I think means that they're not good, but they're better than Crunky and Bickle. So that puts Crunky and Bickle down to gross. stop drinking it. It tastes fine. I actually like the drink. I just can't get past the smell. It smells rotten. <laughs> but when you're drinking it, you can't smell it. It's the only reason it's gross. Next we have. Bickle is gross. Continue to sips it. I'm telling you, it smells gross. I like the idea of Bickle. I am willing to give it the benefit of the doubt that not every Bickle smells like that. And I will update you next time I ever try a Bickle, which will probably be next time I go to Japan because I'm not going to buy one here again. You're going to be sick. I'm already going to be sick. The amount of sugar I have consumed here is insane. I'm trying Chelsea. Now, again, this is see-through. I think it's yogurt flavored. And we know what I think about yogurt flavored things. <laughs> Meiji Chelsea yogurt scotch, 10 Tablets. Am I supposed to swallow them whole? Oh, why would they do that? It's got like one of those little like bands that you like peel it all the way around, but then they put the ingredient sticker on the back so you can't even do it. Your cool tablets. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> yes. Oh, they're so green though. All right, editor, just for this shot, no green screen. Look, they come in like a little thing. You take, you take out your individual chew tablet. Cute. Oh, they're so glossy. It looks like a, what, like a Werther's original? Oh, they're hard. Oh no, I thought they would be chewy. I don't want to commit. <laughs> okay, I have done my initial suck. I have all the data I need. It is not that great. It's fine. But when would I ever want one? I don't quite understand the point of them. I'm never feeling like just sucking on a hard candy. I just noticed it also says on it behind all the green. All right, you're gonna have to believe me. It says the taste of old Scotland. So they're clearly going for something there. They're fine. I just don't know when I would ever, ever want one. So I think that makes it not good. Okay, and finally, we have one more, and then we need to decide who got the victory royale. Lastly, but hopefully not leastly, we have Choco Pie. <laughs> which to me just looks like a wagon wheel, which is like an Australian treat. I guess this is the Japanese wagon wheel. I've heard a little bit about them, but I've never tried them. Fun fact, the back of the thing is upside down. I guess you're supposed to go, Haha! <laughs> Those are moon pies. A moon pie stylized as moon pie is an American confection popular across much of the, uh, it consists of graham cookies with marshmallow. Sure, it's, it can be similar to moon pies, but it ain't a moon pie because these ones are from Japan. Or lot, lot, latte. I guess that means they might be from Korea. They're from Korea. So fine, they're Korean, Korean moon pies. 
well, Korean versions of the same thing that a moon pie is, which again, is also just a wagon wheel. The snack food sold in the UK, Australia, and Canada are the Commonwealth countries. They consist of marshmallow sandwich covered in chocolate. It's the same, it's the same thing. Everybody has their own version. So you guys may call them moon pies. These guys call them choco pie. Australia calls them wagon wheels. Regardless, you gotta try every, every other, you gotta try the other country's versions to see how they stack up. It smells exactly like a wagon wheel. And that is what I'm gonna be comparing it to. I feel like it's maybe taller than a wagon wheel. I don't know. That's worse. That is worse than a wagon wheel, 100%. It's so dry. I feel like a wagon wheel has a little bit of jam in it or something. These are soft. They smell great, very sweet. Not really. It doesn't it have much flavor and it's really dry. Wagon wheels win. They have jam in it to like make it a little bit more moist. You need that moisture in a wagon wheel. I'm gonna say not good. And I might move Bickle down to poison because I'm not entirely sure that it isn't. So here we have our full scale. We have the amazing, the really good, the I don't know, the good, the average, the not good, the gross and the poison. Oh no, I tasted it that time. I tasted the wet socks that time. Who out of these is going to get the ultimate victory royale? I guess it goes without saying because there's only one snack at the top under amazing. The milky caramel corns get bumped up to the victory royale. Can we get a round of applause for the milky caramel corns? The best Japanese snack to be eaten by Joinan on this blessed day. So good. I would hazard a guess, probably the least healthy snack here, the worst for you, unless Bickle ends up killing me. But dang, those are good. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see me do this again. I will gladly oblige. Next time I will not buy a Bickle. And uh, get some of the sweet lemon carton merch in the description below. It's pretty cute. It's got a little lemon carton on it. It's kind of inspired by everything you've just seen, <laughs> if that wasn't obvious. And come and join me uh, live on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash join in, but on Twitch, where I film these live every weekday. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching my video, but now that it's done, please watch another one.